Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amitash, and uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Amazon's uh, one of the very first service called uh, SQS. So basically, this SQS is a message queuing service. So what exactly that means? See, whenever you are taking some applications, uh, it, it works like you know we. we uh, have multiple type of applications like uh, monolithic applications and decoupled applications so in monolithic applications everything goes in uh, as a one process right if one something is fails remaining all process will fail so but if you want to uh, decouple that you can use this sqs so if something is failed automatically another service will pick that okay so in this sqs what actually we do so in SQS, we have two components. One is primarily producers, a second one is consumers. So these producers are going to generate the messages. So whatever messages that generating by these producers, so that is going to pick by this SQS queue. And it will process that message and it is going to make it available for these consumers. Okay, so technically it's a message queuing service. A simple example to understand this. For example, let's assume we have an auto scaling group. So, and we have an EC2 instance. So, this auto scaling group continuously checks this EC2 instance uh, CPU utilization. Let's assume we have configured if this EC2 instance CPU utilization is greater than or equal to 90 percentage. I want to adjust my desired counter to plus two of an existing one. So now something need to go and check uh, continuously, right? So, uh, you know, something has to check, okay, what is your CPU utilization? And this instance also need to respond with, okay, my CPU utilization is this, right? So this process is going to be managed by SQS. So we can create one queue for request and one queue for response. Okay, so this messaging sending messaging receiving messages we can do so you might get a doubt okay sns also designed uh, like uh, for messaging purpose only right but sns is a push based messaging service it just sends it, it is like a push based it won't uh, pull for the messages but here this sqs is a pull based messaging service or poll based messaging so it will continuously go and uh, pull the information or it will continuously polls for the information okay so now let's um, create a queue so that uh, we can test this uh, how exactly this sqs works so the primary purpose of this sqs is we can create like you know uh, decoupled applications right so we can wh whatever uh, application we have we can separate the components and uh, so the process can run independently and uh, the pro messaging can happen between these uh, components we have within this application okay and um, so as i mentioned sqs is uh, pull based and the maximum message size if you observe here it supports 256 kb only but AWS is going to cost us in form of uh, chunks. One chunk is equal to 64 KB. So that means if our message size is 200 KB, 250 KB, AWS will cost us as a four requests. One million requests comes under free tier eligibility. And default um, retention period for these messages is four days. Minimum is one minute and maximum is 14 days. And the default is four days. So how many days the message will um, be kept in queue so that we can uh, retry or the consumer can pick that okay so now we have two types of uh, queues in this sqs one is uh, standard and second one is fifo so this standard queue right so it's um it's like you know it won't preserve any message order for example, some messages are coming and it is processing in the queue. 
So let's assume this is first message, this is second message, this is third message. It, it won't preserve any order. So first message may go here, fourth may come, fifth may come, third one may come. But if it is FIFO, the another uh, queue type, this FIFO queue type, message order will be preserved. So message order in simple, this is going to be first message, second message, third, fourth, fifth, right? So first in, first out, FIFO starts for. And both will try to deliver messages at least once. And the standard, it will try to deliver message best effort ordering it will try to deliver um, it will try to preserve the order and deliver but there is no guarantee but in this fifo right the message is going to exactly process once so i'm going to create a standard queue and i'm going to deploy a small application in my ec2 instance and uh, with the help of this sqs i'm going to send a message and i'm going to poll for the message receipt message all right so I'm going to call this as uh, SQS iPhone demo and I'm going with default options for this configurations. Encryption, you can enable um, default master key or if you have any uh, customer managed keys also you can go and you can uh, choose that. And I'm going with uh, default options and there is something called DLQ, dead letter Q. So the undeliverable messages. So what the message which is not uh, consumed by the consumer so we can send it to another SQS queue we can create the queue and we can give that here so that one we call it as a DL queue or dead letter queue click on create queue now this queue got created and this is what our queue URL okay so as I told you I have this EC2 instance and here I'm going to um, deploy a small node.js application all right so this is um, th these are the two steps to install node.js i already have uh, node.js within this ec2 instance uh, if you don't know how to install it is pretty simple first execute this command that prepare the repo then give this command it is going to install node.js we already did this multiple times for our uh, like you know uh, SQ SNS project and uh, like you know multiple videos available in our channel you can refer that so now I'm going to initialize a project folder in this location all right it's initialized so now so I I'm preparing some files like you know one is app.js that is uh, actual code and uh, I'm going to take a simple index.html that is act as a um, uh, web interface the landing page and I'm using two files one is send.html that will pick message and it is going to send it to the uh, sqsq messages.ejs is going to fetch the messages available in our sqsq all right so let's uh, do this now I'm going to take this app.js I'm creating here vim app.js but before that we have to adjust a couple of things here so first thing is in what region your sqs queue is so in my case it is in mumbai region i have given ap south iphone 1, 1 and then what is a queue url so the sqs queue url you replace with the actual our sqs queue url this is what the sqs queue url and uh, let's replace this here as well as under this surf messages all part also all right now let's copy this and uh, create app.js and it is going to run on default port number so that is 3000 so make sure your uh, ec2 instance security group is open with port 3000 all right, this app.js is now created. As I told you, we have uh, multiple options, right? This index.html. So let's create this index.html first. This is very simple uh, index.html web page. 
and then we have the send.html All right, so the file got created. So then create this uh, messages.ejs. So create this under views. So let's go under views. Oh, oh. VAM messages dot let's say yes one all right let's copy this content paste it here okay colon wq all right the required content also created here so now we have to like uh, install required dependencies here for this egs and all so yeah let's uh, kept that here. Okay, so everything got uh, created here. So now another thing we have to um, associate an uh, role to our EC2 instance. Why? Because see now whenever we are running uh, node app.js you see that app.js is now running. Let's grab this instance uh, public IP address, access it over port number 3000. We are getting this index.html page. When I click on go to send page, so that page where whatever the message we want to send. So test is a message I want to send. Then click on send, you see here, error sending messages. So, and if you observe this EC2 instance, you see this, it's trying to send and status code is 404 credentials error could not load credentials from any providers. So basically this EC2 instance is trying to communicate with the SQSQ to send a message. So, but um, there is no uh, communication between this EC2 instance and SQSQ. So you have two options. You can use this uh, access key secret access key method and the secure one is SQS. Uh, role create a role and attach that role to our EC2 instance. So go to IAM, navigate to roles, create a role, AWS services, choose use case as a EC2. So then click on next and here search for service like a SQS. I'm going to provide SQS full access. Next, give a name, uh, role iPhone SQS YT demo. So then create a role. Now go to this EC2 instance, actions, security, modify IAM role. So then give the role name you created, update IAM role. All right, we have updated role at our instance level. Now you try to send a message. So click on send. So now message got sent. Click on view messages. You see that message is here. Also, you want to send another message. So uh, I'm picking some auto ones. So when you click on another one, see um, another message is there. So whatever the messages you are sending here, this is my message. Send when you click on this, even if you are giving refresh, so it, we will get that messages like uh, how many messages it processed. We can get all this uh, information from uh, queue also. For example, we have sent multiple messages here, right? And even we are processing that messages from this uh, messages page. So now if you go to this queue details and uh, you do have an option here, send and receive messages or else if you go to queues and you see this messages in flight and messages in available state. And if you click on this send and receive messages, scroll down and if you poll for the messages, it will list out all the messages available in the queue. Click on poll for messages. You see how many times we try to receive that message. Even if you if you are giving like you know multiple refreshes here, so automatically so this count also increases. Let's poll again. 
So those many times the messages are going to be retrieved or processed. So if we have an actual consumer, yes, the consumer can go to that queue and it can pick. Then once it picked that message, it can delete. Okay. So, but it, this is very simple application. So we, it's not a real application, right? So, yeah. So, but uh, I hope you guys uh, got an idea what exactly this uh, SQL service is. And if you want to clean up the messages from this queue, you do have an option to purse. You purse and you type uh, purse, then click on purse. So it, it won't show any messages now. It's not going to show anything. Why? Because no message is available here. Even if you go here, no message is available. And also, even if you call for the messages here, you don't see any. And for testing purpose, if you want to send a message by using this console, you can type that here as well. Then send a message. Your message has been sent and ready to receive. So, yeah. So that is about uh, SQS service. All right. Uh, so the code, you can get it from our GitHub repository. I'll share this uh, repo URL in our uh, video um, uh, description. All right, that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.